All right, let's get going on this. We're going to put a little miter in this corner here. So I'm going to start a new sketch right on this face. And when I do so, I'm going to rotate. And first thing, I'm going to use some edges. I'm going to use that edge. And I'm going to use this edge. Because now I'm going to continue to project. Come on, you can't. You can fully project. I'm going to click on those. Then I'm going to drag a line over there and make sure that it was parallel. And I'm going to drag a line down here and like so. I'm going to go ahead and trim those with the M key. Trimming those up because I needed this point. I wanted it to come through here and we're going up. I don't know how far, honestly. Let's just going to go there. And then I need to project some more lines. So I'm going to project that line and this line because I need them. I'm going to use those to cut this thing out. And might as well just use that one right there, too. Now, dimensioning between this and this edge needs to be 45 degrees. Doing a miter. Then I'm going to go ahead and trim this edge right here. I should have a completed triangle sketch in there, and it's got that edge right there completed. So we'll go, okay. I will extrude that as a cut. We're removing from this part, yes, and I'm only going to go up to next, not all the way through. So I'm just cutting out that little section right there. That's going to help the fold so we can see it show up on our flat pattern right down there. And that's how you do that properly so that um, pieces will fit together when we bend them sheet metal wise. Otherwise, we'd have problems if it you're bent in there at a problem. So, same thing on the other side. Let's do it real quick. Sketching right there. And like before, I used a bunch of edges. Let's go ahead and push the use button. Use that edge, that edge, this edge, this edge. Use the my line tool coming across and down. Got it. Trimming. Oh. Didn't trim correctly on that. There we go. And that that line over here. I just want to make sure it gets past that. Then the dimension. I don't know how long it is between there and there. Forty-five degrees. And then we can trim the excess. But a bang. Oh, forgot to use this edge in here. Otherwise, that wouldn't have worked. Right there. So I got all my black edges. You can see my sketch right there. It's good. We'll go ahead and extrude it again that removing and we'll say not blind but up to next it's gonna that one should work so it's just gonna cut up to the next part the next surface and we're good to go bam so we got two miters in there now you can see on the flat pattern we are set all right good luck on it